I needed to add a part two to the initial uh, transmission, I guess, that's what it was, um, that came through um, because I was lying awake after that happened and um, wondering to myself what I had done, what did I do that suddenly made me able to receive these messages. And um, the memory that was lulled back into the same um, a theta brainwave state and uh, taken on that, you know, mm, receiving uh, again and uh, recorded it. So, yeah, I was wondering, what did I do that enabled me to all of a sudden be a vessel for whatever is coming through? Because, you know, there's a lot of things that I've cut out of my life. Um, don't eat meat at all. Uh, no dead animal products. Uh, raw milk, raw butter. Yes, um, I'm very regimented with my diet, what I put in my body. Um, very strict with uh, meditation and breath work. And I don't mean strict like a, a negative connotation. It's like I know I need to do these things in order to be uh, the healthiest, most, you know, uh, positive, functional version of myself, the healthiest, the happiest. Like there are a certain, there's a certain daily routine that I adhere to um, that I've learned keep me on track and when I depart from those things or when I'm pulled or when I don't listen to my intuition um, I suffer I feel further away from myself and um, so bottom line the ultimate thing is it's not special I'm not special that I was able to do this anyone can receive messages from their intuition from their higher self and I suppose if they're open and willing and um, to other things that can help um, so I, it's only three minutes, but, um, you know, the bottom line is you can too. So I gave instructions. Enjoy. It's not a matter of diet or abstaining. It's just, are you in alignment with yourself or what makes you at center with yourself? If there are certain practices you require to be in that space of authenticity, of self-connection, then do those practices, by all means, do those practices. Some are naturally more open than others, and some have a harder time accessing that, that, their, that part of themselves. Everyone has the ability to access this information. It's just a matter of are you in line with your heart? Are you at heart with yourself? It's not a reward system. You don't get a treat for abstaining from things just for the sake of abstaining. Nothing is off limits, per se. But if there are things that you engage in willingly to remove yourself from a place of wholeness, presence, complete interaction with the world, then yes, those will remove you from your ability to channel, to protect yourself from outside negative influences and open you to a world of things that are quite beastly in nature. <laughs> Staying composed in your essential nature is crucial to becoming the garden <laughs> the greatest version of you, yes. Hopefully this is something we can see coming. 
sometimes it's not always easy to ascertain whether things have your best and highest good in mind. As long as you are open to love, you are always in protection. As long as you are open to love, you are always in protection. As long as you are open to love, you are always in protection. Night-night.